Hi guys, my name is Ashley. I'm with Mystic Moons Astrology and I want to welcome all of Nadia's fabulous friends and fans to my space where I conduct my tarot card readings and my natal chart readings. So welcome. I am here to actually speak with you guys about the full moon that we have coming in and the sign of Libra. And that will be coinciding with the vernal equinox we have coming in on, depending on where you're at in the world, the 20th or the 21st of March. And so, well, what is Libra? Libra is that partnership sign. And um, this moon is especially auspicious for new beginnings. Although it is a full moon, it does have the new moon traits to it because we are at the zero degree uh, during this full moon in Libra. And so it's exciting and it's refreshing because it will bring some new uh, energy in and coinciding with the um, spring equinox, we are also ushering in spring. And this is what the cardinal signs do. And Libra is a cardinal initiator. It does initiate the spring season. And so uh, this is going to be a uh, time in which we have a lot of new energy coming in and uh, potentially energetic energy towards bringing new things into our life and starting and growing and planting new things. So, well, um, who am I? <laughs> I am um, a tarot card reader and a natal chart reader, as I had said before, and I began my business, Mystic Moons Astrology, back in August of last year. I have been reading tarot for friends and family for over four years, but as of last year, I decided to extend it out to uh, the public sector and started reading natal charts and tarot card readings for clients. Um, I'm loving what I'm doing. It's exciting. It's fun. I connect with my uh, clients via video. So I just sit with them in this space right here. And this is where I do all of my uh, readings. And so I am also a moon blogger. And I write on WordPress. I use my abilities with creative writing. Um, to highlight the new and the full moon and the zodiac sign that comes into that new and full moon every two weeks. And my blogs are on WordPress um, and that's where I uh, post those. I also pull a few tarot cards and a, um, I cast a ruin stone. And that really makes up my reading uh, every two weeks for the moons. Uh, so now this full moon that we have coming in, I've wrote some symbolic creative writing for it that I will share with you guys. Um, I will tell you that this is the uh, third of three full moons in 2019 that are at the zero degree, uh, which is that's that full card. That is that taking the leap and, um, you know, stepping off of the cliff, knowing that the clouds are going to catch you. And also, um, beginning again, you know, this is the embodiment of the zero degree. And there's no doubt that we've got a lot of this new energy that has been coming in. Um, and this is the third and the final uh, zero degree moon that we have coming in. Uh, we also have uh, two full moons consecutively in March and April that are in the zodiac sign of Libra. And Libra is focusing really in on our partnerships. And whether that be in business or um, personal partnerships, friendships, uh, family, all of that really coincides with this seventh house Libra energy that we are getting into um, with this next, uh, these next two full moons that are coming in in Libra. And why do we have... Uh, two full moons in Libra consecutively. Well, that's because of the degrees. Um, this uh, 
full moon in Libra that we have coming in is at the zero, obviously. And then the next one that'll come in in April will be at the 29th degree at the very end. And so um, I believe that with the symbolicness of the zero degree, we are beginning to work on our relationships this month uh, in particular. And then we're doing kind of a wrap up of that uh, come April. And so in April, it'll really be the end of this full moon and Libra energy um, that will really tie together what we began uh, at the um, zero degree. And so, but I'm just going to focus on this month, uh, March, and the full moon that we have coming in this month. And that will be, like I said, at the zero degree beginning again. Um, and also evaluating things and um, seeing where partnerships and agreements and contracts are being honored successfully, um, not just getting by with things anymore. This is really the beginning of starting new things. And so what may have worked for you last year is obviously not going to be cutting it. Um, at the beginning degree of this full moon. So because Libra is the ruler of the seventh house, um, it does, like I said, look over at our business partnerships and partners, uh, contracts, marriage. It also looks over at our friends um, and it sees where things are working for us or working against us. And so... Um, with it coinciding with the vernal equinox, um, you know, this is the beginning of spring. And so we've also got Aries coming in to its season um, during this moon. And with Aries, we see the one. We see the self. We see a um, self-starter, ambitious, uh, impatient, excuse me. But also with Aries, we see uh, down to business and um, getting our uh, business stuff straight so that we can go forward in a more positive way. And how can we do that in business? Well, we can do that by looking over our contracts with others and uh, renewing them, or we can um, decide to um, not take those on anymore. So, and you know, with Aries being opposite this moon, um, it's really telling us, you know, where are things working um, or, or are they not? Uh, you know, with Aries, we've got this upfront and daring energy. And, you know, Aries needs spontaneity and friendly competition in order to keep things enlivened. And this is really... Um, something that we're also going to be looking at with our partnerships. Are they exciting and fun and new? And um, and not just new, but are we invigorating it with new energy as we go on? Um, because uh, when we don't, things get stale and bored. And oftentimes with the Aries energy, it's very restless and it will move on if it's not entertained and if it's not upholded in a way in which it uh, keeps the attention. And so, you know, Aries is a very self-sufficient sign. It is that one. It is the self. It is our appearance as well. And it is how we hold ourselves. And so when we are not um, getting the most out of our contracts and out of the uh, things that we need from others, which is Libra, um, then we are not honoring ourselves um, fully and to full capacity. And so this is where the breakdown uh, comes in. And, you know, with Aries sitting across from this moon, um, it's saying is the self, which is Aries, okay emotionally, the moon, with our partnerships and our business contracts. And it's really asking us for kind of a reevaluation of those type of things moving forward. Um, and so, you know, 
it will focus on those things. And with Libra, with Libra's ruling planet being Venus, it'll also focus on self-esteem and values and things that we find beautiful and worthy. And, you know, it'll ask us, are we getting those things from the people that we're around? Um, or are they draining us of our energy and we're not really getting what we really need out of our partnerships? And um, it's asking us to step up and, um, you know, do new things and uh, have new contracts and begin again because it is at that zero degree. Um, an analogy would really be is um, Aries self sitting there and watching a movie and you know we're, we we turn on a Netflix movie often we go through the movies and we scroll through them until we finally find one right and then once we find that movie uh, we're pretty quick to turn that movie off if it's not intriguing if it's not catching our attention and this is kind of the energy going forward is if we are not entertained if we are not um, engaged in the program that we're watching or the people that we're with, um, we're pretty quick to turn that off. And that's because we are very selfish with our time. And our time means the most. Uh, what we do with it is very important to us. And so we don't wait too much longer to wait for um, things to shape up. We kind of ship out pretty quick because um, we've already seen the pattern. We've seen that um, the movie's not going in the way that we want it to go and we're not going to really waste much time. We'll just turn off the program and we'll move on to the next movie. And this is kind of uh, symbolically kind of like the situation with the self, Aries, and with our partnerships. If we are looking over at our partnerships and we're not seeing the things that we really truly want, then it's time to renegotiate the contract. It's time to reevaluate. And, you know, we're all about that, um, you know, new momentum in this zero degree, in this spring equinox. Um, we are ready to uh, come out of hibernation, so to speak, and be uh, generously rewarded and see people in which we haven't seen in a while because we've been in closed, isolated places for the past three months of winter. So we come out and we say, hey, how's it going? How's things going with you? And we then are able to evaluate um, how things are going with that person and whether or not we want to work with them or um, continue our contracts with them or uh, we want to, you know, do a revision. So, um, and this is really, you know, a big part of this moon is renegotiations. And what used to work for us may not be what works for us now. Um, you know, with the symbolic writing that I did um, for this moon, it just goes like this. As the winter comes to an end, we approach spring in the cardinal sign of Libra. Uh, cardinal signs initiate the season, like I had said, and bring in a time for new things. Um, it is asking us to start new things, and what might those things be? Well, Falling into the seventh house of Libra, it's partnerships and it's those contracts. Um, and as we retreat from hibernation, we now come in contact with others. We can also even see this on social media platforms where uh, people are just now coming out and posting selfies with the car windows rolled down and um, summertime is on the horizon. We know it. And we are feeling energetic and we're feeling excited towards the warmer weather and getting out and doing things that maybe we've been dreaming this whole winter to be able to do. And so that's what we are really initiating going forward with this full moon in Libra. Um, 
spring wakes and enlivens us. Um, the birds sing outside to each other, echoing our sentiments of, hi, how did things go? How are you doing? Um, you know, everything good on your end. And this is the same with our neighbors. Our neighbors are coming out to dust off their doormats and um, sweep their porches and get things prepared for warmer horizons. And we're able to look over the gate or the fences at our neighbors and say, hey, how you doing? How's things going? And it's enlivening. And it is really that connection with others that we are initiating with this full moon in Libra, which is super exciting. And it is truly a time in which uh, we can be more connected with others and we can be more connected with ourselves through our partnerships and agreements and honoring those successfully. And so this is really what this uh, full moon embodies and is all about. And I am so glad that I could just sit down and talk to you guys about this full moon for a little bit. Uh, we are in Aries season. Whoop, whoop. So that's an exciting time as well. It is that initiator. It is taking that lead and deciding that, you know, sure, it might be scary going forward and taking the leap, but it's better to take the leap than to sit around and wait for things to turn around when we see the pattern. So I hope you guys enjoyed this blog post. My name is Ashley with Mystic Moons Astrology. Thank you guys again for being with me. And thank you so much to Nadia Shaw for allowing me the opportunity to be hosted on your platform for this month. Um, if you are interested in uh, consulting with me, booking a reading, uh, feel free to get in contact with me. I would love to meet you. And I, like I said, I really appreciate Nadia for allowing me this opportunity. I hope you all have a wonderful full moon in Libra. And um, may it be exciting and enlivening for you. So I will talk to you guys very soon. My name is Ashley. Bye-bye.